This begins section 6.4, which covers the bivariate normal distribution. Back when we had univariate random variables, that is one random variable at a time, we took two chapters, namely chapters 4 and 5, and looked at discrete and continuous distributions that arise commonly in practice. So at that point, we introduced the binomial distribution, the hypergeometric distribution, the geometric distribution, the uniform distribution, the normal distribution, the exponential distribution, etc. Well, in this case, there is one famous distribution when you have two random variables at a time, and it is so much more popular than the uh, second distribution that's out there, it's going to get its own separate section, and it is the bivariate normal distribution. So the continuous random variables x and y have a joint PDF, and this is by far the longest um, functional form here for a probability density function that we've seen so far. But first of all, before we get to that, let's look at the support here. x and y values can go from negative infinity to infinity. So the real plane is the uh, support. And furthermore, the parameter space here, omega, involves five parameters. And the meaning of those five parameters is mu sub x is the mean of x, mu sub y is the mean of y, sigma sub x is the standard deviation of x, sigma sub y is the standard deviation of y, and rho is the correlation. The mean of x can be any real value. The mean of y can be any real value. The standard deviation of x is strictly greater than 0. Standard deviation y is strictly greater than 0. And the correlation lies between negative 1 and positive 1, not including the endpoints. So that is the support and the parameter space. The joint probability density function is 1 over 2 pi sigma x sigma y square root of 1 minus rho squared e to the minus 1 over 2 1 minus rho squared times the standardized value of x squared plus the standardized value of y squared plus 2 rho times the product of the standardized random variables and that is a bivariate normal random variable or those are bivariate normal random variables with parameters mu x, mu y, sigma x, sigma y, and rho. If you were to draw a picture of the joint probability density function with x along this axis, y along this axis, and then the joint PDF coming up out of the page, basically you're getting a mountain. And the funny thing about the bivariate normal distribution is pretty much all of the pictures look like this from this particular perspective. They all look like mountains. So the way to tell one bivariate normal distribution from another bivariate normal distribution is to look at level surfaces or contours of this function. And a level surface or a contour is taken by simply taking a horizontal plane and running it right through this distribution and seeing what the uh, trace of that is and on the next page you're going to see that those traces happen to be contours and they are ellipses.